so today I'll hack my neighbor's Wi-Fi. I just hope that they don't see my video. So hey what's up guys, how are you back with a new video. So in this video I'll show you how you can hack someone else's Wi-Fi and use it for your own benefit. So before starting you need to keep four things in mind. First is that you need to have Kali Linux installed in your PC. If you want to download the Kali Linux software, I have the links in the description. It's a free software and it is available on the internet for free and it is available very easily. The next thing you need to have is a compatible USB Wi-Fi adapter. I am using WG WG Triple One V3 for this. I purchased it from very cheap from OLS.in. I don't know why that person sold it for very cheap. I mean, I was searching the market for around six months for this thing and I got it for very cheap. And if you want to buy this adapter, I have the links in the description for that as well. And the third thing you need to do is drop a like to this video. This will help you hack the Wi-Fi very easily. And the fourth thing you need to have is some patience. I mean a lot of patience. It takes a lot of time to hack a Wi-Fi. Okay, so I have my Wi-Fi. As you can see, this is my Wi-Fi. But I have many devices connected to it. My mom's mobile, my dad's mobile, my mobile, my sister's mobile, my TV, my DVR, six devices connected. Oh, I'm sorry, my computer as well. Seven devices to one single one Mbps Wi-Fi. So that's why I don't keep my mobile and my computer connected to this Wi-Fi and I keep it connected to my neighbor's Wi-Fi. And so today I'll hack my neighbor's Wi-Fi. I just hope that they don't see my video. I knew their password, but when I woke up this morning, I saw that they changed their password. Man, I was so pissed up. But it's not a big deal. I'll hack it again and this time I'll show it to you guys as well. So let's begin. So now let's get started. For this you need to head over to your PC and do what I'm doing. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the Kali Linux window. So you need to open the terminal and type in the following command. You need to type in airmon-ng and it will show you the interface chipset and driver. So as you can see, I'm getting two internet chipset, driver and interface because I have two Wi-Fi uh, adapters connected to my computer this time. I'll use WLAN 1 to hack the Wi-Fi. So now you need to type in airmon-ng stop WLAN 1. In my case is WLAN 1, in your case it might be WLAN 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or anything. So I'll just click on enter. So as you can see it's saying monitor mode disabled. As you can see the monitor mode disabled. Now you need to type in aerodam ng wlan one And remember WLAN 1 in my case, in your case it might be WLAN 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, anything. Now I'll just click on enter. Okay, so as you can see, these are the Wi-Fi which are near me at this time. Uh, this time, I'm getting somewhat of seven to eight Wi-Fi's, and now I'll just stop it, and I will have this Wi-Fi. This is Hakuna Matata. It's it has a name of Hakuna Matata, and as you can see, this is the DSS ID. I'll just copy it, and now I will type in the following command. This is revert dash i dash wlan one, and now dash b. The basis ID. I have just copied the basis ID, and now I'll just paste it. As you can see, I have pasted the basis ID. Dash dash fail dash wait equals to 360. I'll just click on enter. As you can see, it's saying restore previous sessions. So I'm getting this because I've already hacked this Wi-Fi, and now it's saying that I, if I want to restore the previous session or not, I'll just click on I'll just click on Y because I want to save time. Okay, and Y means yes. So I click on enter and it's saying restore previous session associated with this Wi-Fi. This is Hakuna Matata. And as you can see the Wi-Fi has been hacked. This is the WA pin ACSB hashtag 926. Very clever Hakuna Matata. So as you can see this is the password ACSB hashtag 926. I'll just copy it and I'll show it to you guys that it is the password or not. I'll just click on Hakuna Matata and try to connect it. I'll just type in the following. Oh I'm sorry the password. This is A hashtag. 926 and click on connect so I'll just wait I don't know if it will work or not but I think it should work okay come on come on come on Una Matata don't let me down don't let me down okay so as you guys can see the Wi-Fi has been connected it is saying me to disconnect as you can see Hakuna Matata has been connected so this is how you hack a Wi-Fi okay so I'll just show you that the internet is working or not as you can see Hakuna Matata is still connected I'll just click on Google and now I'll type in some random letters as you can see. Okay, so as you can see the internet is working and it's connected to Hakuna Matata. Please comments below and I'll see you in the next one.